Hello and welcome to Algebra 2 tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at our triangles inside a circle again, but this time we're going to do something interesting. We're going to take that circle and shrink it down to make it smaller and that is going to simplify our trig ratios. Um, and then we'll practice that. So first let's make sure that when our triangle is inside a circle we know what that means and what that does. So here I have a couple of angles inside our triangle and when you have a point inside this circle I'm hoping you can see the right triangle that it makes. So let's start there and identify our trig ratios based off of these points. So for our first point, point C, again, I'm hoping you can see that we have a right triangle here, just like that. And so our opposite is this side, our adjacent is this side. And so the way we simplified that is we realized that our opposite side is our Y and our adjacent side is our X. So we can just use these points again. So this angle I have written down is one radian, so that's my theta. So the first set of trig function I'm going to do is sine of one will be equal to the opposite, which is the y value, 3.3, divided by the radius of our circle. The hypotenuse from here to here is the same as the radius. And in this case, the radius is 4. You can see it down here, so 4. All right, let's do all of them now. Cosine of, again, the angle is still 1. The adjacent is the x value, so that is 2.2 over 4. And tangent oops, of 1 is the opposite, which is 3.3, which is the y value, over the x value, which is 2.2. All right. Now, it is good for us to take a look and put those decimals in there as well. That'll be helpful in a little bit. So 3.3 divided by 4 is 0.825. Two point two divided by four is point five five, and three point three divided by two point two is one point five. All right, let me do one more for you, and I'll leave the last one as your own practice. So let's do point D, two radians. So this will be sine of two radians now. So it's our y value, 3.6, divided by the radius, which is still 4, cosine, is our x value, which is negative 1.7, divided by 4, and our last one, tangent, make some room here, of 2 is the y value divided by the x value. All right, I'm going to put the decimals up there as well. So here we have all the decimals now as well. I'll leave the last one there for you to try as practice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle and we're going to do something interesting to it. So I'm going to leave the work there because we want to see those numbers. We're going to take this and shrink our circle down. So let me erase some of this here. We don't need that, but I want to leave the numbers. I'm going to take that same circle here I've got the same circle, and we're going to shrink it down to a radius of only 1. This is going to do something very important for our numbers and to simplify this whole process. 
So I'm going to shrink this down. There we are. To a value of 1. And I'm hoping you can see a nice important thing happens with all our numbers, especially view, where is it, rounding, let's go two decimal places, there we go. That will make it even more obvious what happens here. So first take a look at our first point here where our angle was one radian. I'm hoping you recognize these numbers here are now the final answers to our previous problem. Because now essentially what we're doing, we're taking the y value and dividing by, now our radius is only 1. And so dividing by 1 doesn't change anything. So our entire sine value, this right here, is just the y value. Our entire cosine value is now just the x value. We don't have to worry about the fraction because we are dividing by a radius of 1, and dividing by 1 doesn't change anything. So we can change what we're thinking about. Now that we have a unit circle, when we take the sine, of an angle, it's just the y value on the point because we're technically dividing by 1 and that doesn't change anything. The cosine is now just the x value. Tangent, tangent actually doesn't change. Tangent is still the y value divided by the x value. But when you use a unit circle, when your radius is only 1, our trig functions simplify quite a bit. So that's an important one to look at now. We've simplified them a lot. All right, let's practice that a little bit. Let's actually identify all six trig ratios from a unit circle now. So you can see this circle now has a radius of only one. It goes positive one, positive one, negative one, negative one, all the way around. And so I've identified one angle, 5.2 radians. We're going to identify sine, cosine, and tangent. So the first three here are really easy. Oops. So sine of the angle is 5.2. So we now know that sine is just the y value. It will be negative 0.89. Cosine of 5.2 is just the x value. So in this case, 0.47. Tangent will still be a fraction. That one didn't change at all. So we will take our y value, negative 0.89, and divide by our x value, 0.47, which that one we would throw into the calculator. Divided by 0.47 gives us negative 1.89. And if you want to, you can certainly check these on a calculator. Just type this in. As long as you're in radians, it should give you this number. But now I said all six, so we have three more to do. So we have the cosecant of 5.2. Now this is the reciprocal of sine. So I technically do have to take this and turn it into a fraction again and flip it. So that will be negative 1 over 0.89 secant again I'm going to take this one now that's the reciprocal of cosine and flip it so that's 1 over 0.47 and tangent oops not tangent cotangent of 
of 5.2 and I can flip this fraction here or I could flip this one whichever one we want I'll do the first one 0 0.47 on top and negative 0.89 and if you wanted the decimal you could just divide those on the calculator to get that so those are the decimals there if you want to check yours and again if we type this into the calculator it should give us those numbers directly all right that's all I wanted to show you here get you some practice problems here but again in a nutshell we took our triangles inside the circle we shrunk the circle down so it only has a radius of one and that again simplified our trig functions sine is now just our y cosine is just our x uh, tangent is still y over x so using those ideas go ahead and try to identify all six trig functions or at least th these three sine cosine and tangent from this circle.